So Blavers, you've been at Lanks for a year or so now. Just tell us a little bit about how you found your first year at the club. Um, yeah, it's been honestly, mate. It's been fantastic. It's you know they've they've welcomed me to the club uh, really nice. I've settled in. Um, the lads have been great with me, the coaches, um, and yeah, it was nice. You know, at the end of the season to finally get my chance, um, which personally I felt I deserved, which was nice. So um, I've got great confidence, obviously, going into next year. So it's been yeah, it's been fantastic, mate. Thank you. You mentioned sort of breaking into the team. Was the move from Notts was kind of the the chance to come and play first team cricket? Was that a big appeal for you? Um, yeah, as such, yeah, it didn't quite work out for me at Notts. Um, and obviously Lancashire coming in for me was, you know, a big surprise, um, being one of the best clubs in England. Um, so it was, yeah, you know, it, it, I still have to pinch myself sometimes now to, to you know, I've play, played for Lancashire or, and, and I'm in the squad or whatever. So it's, it's fantastic. Um, but no, it's, you know, it's, I feel like there's more opportunity here. Um, I feel like, you know, I've got some back in here. Um, and yeah, I think, you know, sky's the limit. If I work hard enough and, and keep doing what I'm doing, then, you know, anything can happen, so. Just looking back at the summer, you sort of, you come into training, you were working hard, and then your first real big opportunity was going to be in the Royal London Cup. Obviously, you got injured in the warm-up game for that. Just tell us a little bit about how you were feeling after that and the process to fighting back to full fitness. Yeah, it was, you know, I think, I think it was the day before um, we had a, a training session and, and Dane came up to me saying, listen, we're going to go with you opening the bowling for majority of this tournament, see how you go. Um, so I was obviously, night before, I was like, oh, I can't wait. I think that excitement into the warm-up game, maybe I tried to bowl a bit too fast or, you know, and, and then I, I unfortunately got injured. Um, so yeah, it was a big, a big downer because uh, I felt I was bowling well at the time as well. Um, but no, you know, Things like that happen, you expect things like that to happen. Um, but I'm just glad I got my chance at the end of the season and, and to show a little bit to the fans and to, you know, to the lads, because you know, it's a new change in what I can do. Um, so that was really pleasing for me. It must have been great to fight back and then come back and play a big part in that running at the end of the season, particularly the game at Somerset live on Sky, you were in the wickets. Just tell us a little bit about that day. It's a bit surreal, really. Um, I think as a young player, you're always questioning yourself and, you know, am I good enough? Can I do this? And, and I've only played two previous games to that game, so I was very nervous. Um, but no, it was, oh, to do something like that, it's, it just gives you that confidence, you know, do you know what, I can actually do it. Um, and I think that, that's shown in the games after the, the Somerset game. Um, and yeah, it was just great to be in that team fight, see, you know, really see what the boys are about. Um, they never give up and we took it right to the end and it was just fantastic to, to be involved in that. Um, so yeah, it was brilliant, really enjoyed it. Just take us back to that final game of the season at Liverpool against Hampshire. It was probably one of the most extraordinary games of cricket you oh, could ever see. What, yeah. what, was, what was your feeling on that last day in particular? I can just remember um, sitting in the changing rooms after I've just snicked off when we need, I think we need, how many did we need? I think we needed two or three to win. And I've played the, the worst shot of my life. And I was sat there and I was just like this the whole time. Um, because obviously, you know, I, I thought, you know, I could have potentially lost as the game there. But when Park, uh, Dane hit the sweep, I heard everyone go up and I, I was so happy. I was, but it was just, yeah, it was, it was one of the, the best games I've ever been involved in, I reckon, emotionally as well. He was the highs and the lows of the game were fantastic, and obviously, first time playing at Liverpool and the crowd was fantastic. So yeah, it was it was brilliant. And then obviously the next day, Warwick should go and win, and we just fall short. What what was what's been the feeling in the camp since then? Is there a real determination next year to go out and go one better and finally get over the line? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, it's. It's it's a tough one to take, um, you know. We 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 had a great time in the changing room after Liverpool. Uh, we never thought we you know that we, it was sealed then. Um, we knew that you know Warwickshire had a good chance of of you know taking on Somerset, uh, which they did. Um, but no, I feel like it just brings the spirits up that in the camp that do you know what we've we've had a great year. We've we've fell second. Um, but I feel going into next year, it gives us a, you know, a lot of confidence in Division One, and I feel like 
we've we've got the young talent and you know we're mixed with the experience where we can as younger guys can draw on that experience and, and we can I reckon in the next couple of years I've, I, I do believe we, we could win the championship whether it's next year or the year after so it's it's exciting times um, especially being young and, and getting to you know to learn off these the, these more experienced guys like Crofty and Dane and stuff like that so it's brilliant. And some recent news you've extended your contract with Lancashire as well you must be thrilled about that. Oh massively you know it's just it's just nice to to see they, that they see something in me in, in terms of you know giving me an extension um, and you know it gives me another two years to to really showcase what I can do um, in all formats really I, I, I want to be an all format bowler so um, so yeah I'm really excited really excited for the future and just personally it's coming to the end of 2021 now what what would be the main aim for Jack Blavowick going into 2022 um, I think for me, I'd like to play a T20 game. I've never played T20 yet. Be fit for the Royal London. Uh, but no, just to, to take that momentum that I had towards the back end of this season um, into next season, whether that's me going to be starting, it, you, I've got to be realistic. It's a tough tie to get into, especially when you know the likes of Saki are back and, and Jimmy. Um, but I just keep doing what I'm doing, really. And, and you know, and. Like I said, I think the sky's the limit for anyone who works hard enough. So, um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully big things.